In this demo use case, we will leverage Digital Experience Insights to identify the root cause of a bad user experience, whether it's at the end user experience layer, the application layer, or the infrastructure layer. Let's start off with the application. Users are purchasing tickets, leveraging a ticket change web application. In this application, they're able to sign in and enter their username, password, and start the transaction. Here we see that we're looking to purchase tickets for a local concert. Clicking on concerts, we are identified a list of concerts that are available, and it is the John Elton concert that we'd like to purchase tickets, so we click on the John Elton product ID. You've noticed that this has taken a number of seconds to return. That definitely can cause a bad user experience. Anything that takes more than a few seconds uh, can cause frustrated users. So let's now identify how Digital Experience Insights can provide the root cause of where that application call broke down. Starting by leveraging the end user experiencing tool, let's look at what App Experience Analytics provides from an insights perspective. Loading the App Experience Analytics console, we can sort our applications by average latency. Here we see that our ticket change application is flagged as an application with high latency. Clicking on the ticket change application, we have now filtered all of the analytics based on just that application. We see various user and usage information, and we're able to actually click in to individual sessions. Here, maybe we did have a report of B. Whitmarsh calling in with or posting that they had a bad experience. So we can simply go into Sessions and search for that user. Sure enough, there's the B. Whitmarsh user. And we can see that there have been a number of sessions. Let's click on this latest session. Here we're able to identify where the session geolocation was tracked from. Uh, we're actually able to see all the events, and we could simply filter on that API call. Shop, view, product. And here you'll notice that, sure enough, it did take more than a few seconds. It actually took 4.4 seconds. From an end-user monitoring tool, uh, we've identified a frowny-faced experience or a bad customer experience. And most end-user experience tools stop there. They're able to identify that there was a slow call or a slow performance. But because Digital Experience Insights enables you to monitor the application at different tiers, in user tier, application tier, and infrastructure tier, we can go further to actually identify which layer is causing the slow response time. So I'm gonna click on the APM trace link. Here we're actually able to see the individual trace at the application tier. This is provided by Application Performance Management. Here we're able to track down and see which process within the application took the longest amount of time causing the slow response time. Looking at the transaction trace, now we can kind of consider it as an upside down wedding cake. Look at the biggest piece of the wedding cake, which happens to be this piece right here. And we can quickly identify that the execute method in this specific class caused basically 99% of the slowness of the application. Now let's rule out that it's not the infrastructure causing the application to be slow. In cases, there can be slow infrastructure causing uh, resourcing from the application to be slow. Nice thing here is we're able to leverage Digital Experience Insights to actually see the application tier and the infrastructure tier uh, in one solution. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the console here. And you notice here that we're able to view this map at different layers. So we're here at the application layer. We can view it at the application performance management agent layer. Here's the different agents. And now we have a new infrastructure tab that allows us to uh, look at the infrastructure data. Sure enough, we have red alerts here indicating that there are 
alerts coming from the infrastructure management solution. Let's look at those in more detail. Here we can see that we have an AWS probe from infrastructure management that's being alerted. We can actually look at the metrics coming from the infrastructure management component. And when I look at CPU and I look at power state, I don't really see an issue. Uh, looks like the CPU is, is very low. Uh, none of these worry me. So let's dig in deeper. I can now actually click on the open IM dashboard and I'm taken in context correlated to that physical machine that is identified in the map. And here you see the actual machine and we see that the CPU usage is very low. So this to me indicates somebody set up a very low alert. Viewing alerts. I'm able to actually look at the physical alerts and I can look down here and see that sure enough the APM monitoring alert spiked at 1.27 percent which is greater than one which the alert was set to. So this was actually done for demonstration purposes um, just to prove that we can see the infrastructure tier alert. Now that alert was set very low purposely for the demo but we can now clearly articulate that the problem is at the application tier not at the infrastructure tier and not at the end user application tier. As you can see, Digital Experience Insights provides true visibility into all the layers of your application in order for you to get to root cause very quickly. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA's Digital Experience Insights, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or view the learning paths.